Good day everyone, Frosty back again with a new guide. Patch 42 is out and it's time to explore the latest hotness, Castle Revenge. So let's grab our new gentle mate Geraldo and get stuck right into it. A three dart start for this one. Place your first two darts in line with the starting path and then your last one away and slightly above the pipe on strong. Press play. This should solo up to round eight, but if you're struggling on round seven, check your dart positions and try again. On round eight, grab a sniper on strong. You might need to switch it during round eight and nine to first, but otherwise keep it on strong. Upgrade the middle dart to faster throwing on round nine, again, keeping an eye out for any pesky leaks. Past that, you should be good all the way up until round 12, where you'll place Geraldo above the pipe. Place a pile of spikes at the end of each lane and then place a turret next to the top and bottom dart monkeys before rounds 14 and 15 respectively. On to round 17, grab another turret after the bend to support the bottom side. Place a druid above it on round 18, upgrading it to thorn swarm before round 19. Get a bit sticky with some jerry glue before round 21, popping it onto the top lane. This should hold for a bit, just make sure you've got enough spikes on the top side for 24 to beat up the camo balloon and purchase a druid of the jungle before round 25. Don't forget to give it hard thorns as well. Your druid will hold for a good while, so move on to round 33. You will give it a camo potion. After, prep a discount village in line with the brick. Then place three dart monkeys side by side and continue onwards. Pickle the druid before round 35 and then keep the middle dart monkey before round 36, giving it a camo potion on 37 and range during the middle of the round. This holds all the way up until the Moab, but before tackling the beast, give your super pickles and a jerry fire and then place a maelstrom down here and it's free. After round 41, you'll grab a second discount village next to your first, grabbing knockback and then ultra vision on your super progressing it through the range cross path next until you hit Robo Monkey after round 48. Target it to first and strong for the rest of the game. You'll also grab jungle drums on the bottom village just to play it safe. Before round 50, keep both your other top dart monkeys, upgrading the plasma blasts after 51 and your range upgrades after 52. Before grabbing your second Robo Monkey, you'll grab some Geraldo Mecha Bunnies as well. The first one being on 54, as well as Radar Scanner on your middle village for 55. Another bunny for 56, and then upgrade to your second Robo Monkey on 59. This one will go to first and close. Grab your last two bunnies on round 60 and 62, and you're good to go. During the rest of the 60s, you'll work on your final Super Monkey, progressively getting the range upgrades, then the Plasma Blast cross paths. Keep this one on first and close as well. This should be all sorted by round 70. Before 72, upgrade your jungle drums village to primary mentoring for later, and then skip ahead to round 75, where you'll place an embrittlement with enhanced freeze in range of the primary mentoring. Skip ahead a little to 77, where we have to do a little bit of Tetris. Start by placing down a discount village in the corner, with the range touching the machine here then tuck in a spike factory in as high and as left as you possibly can, giving it deadly spikes and setting it to smart. Give it both faster production cross paths and then a stronger stimulant with perishing potions before round 80. Done correctly, the spikes should reach both sides. It's quite lenient, but even if you still do manage to mess it up, give it a Geraldo camo potion after round 86 and skip giving one to your glue gunner later. After bullying the ZOMG, give a sharpening stone to your Robin Monkey and chill through the next few rounds up until 86. We will camo pot both your Plasma Robo Monkeys or your Spactory and Plasma Robo Monkey if you messed up the placement on your Spactory. 87 gets a little close here. I'd recommend pickling both your Plasma Robos if you want to play it safe. I don't here, but it certainly can look a little bit close. After 87, upgrade to Perma Spike and you should be chilling. Beat up 88 and grab a mob glue with bigger globs on strong in range of both your villages. This will stabilize your round 89, so upgrade the spike village to jungle drums and beat up round 90. After 91, the shop will reset, 
So grab two more camo potions on your middle robo and blue, or both robos if your spec replacement wasn't quite it. Nonetheless, you'll place a Moab Press Boomerang on strong with the middle cross path for round 92. Give a sharp stone to both the Robo Monkey and the Spactory before round 93, as well as upgrading the glue to Relentless with Splatter. Though if you're a little bit short of money, it can wait till after the round is done. On round 94, pickle and fire both your Plasma Robos, and then place a Genie down before round 95 as well as a second mob press on the bottom side. Might as well chuck in another Pickles and Jerry Fire it on the middle robo as well. This smokes both 95 and 96, so place down both spooky totems before round 97 and grab a third mob press as well. Finish up with a genie for round 99 and one last genie for round 100 and then spend the rest of the money on whatever you please as the bad will barely even touch your spike pile. Anyway, that was Castle Revenge. Hope you all enjoyed the guide. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to help the channel. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time.